I think Canelo's amazing, do you know what I mean? He's one of my favourite fighters. As mm. I said, I'm a fan of boxing, do you know what I mean? If he did want to fight, no longer fan. I'm going to get a body, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, not, yeah. Like, but you know what I'm saying? We're going to get him. He was being quite rude, so I just obviously put his chips in the fridge in the meantime. You know, you just... <laughs> just <laughs> throw, I'll put the chips whatever. on the yeah, that... Joe presents From The Corner, brought to you by The Zone. Hello, Fight fans, and welcome back to From The Corner, the undisputed king of boxing shows with me, David Alorca. And me, Swazi McKelly. It's so good to be back. And of course, we've got another knockout guest. We've got exclusive interviews with Tia Fumo Lopez and George Cambosis Jr. as they prepare for the highly anticipated lightweight clash this Saturday at Madison Square Garden. And we'll be reviewing last weekend's clash between the one and only Demetrius Andrade and Jason Quigley. And back by popular demand, we're going to get into the headband challenge. But before we get into all that goodness, let's welcome on our special guest. That's right. In the red corner, today we have Hackney's <laughs> finest that's right WBO cruiserweight champion of the world ladies and gentlemen it's the source Lawrence Akole <laughs> yes yes yes, 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 yes. Oh, okay. yeah, look at him cracking the smile yeah. okay <laughs> pearly whites this is a chap it's an right. honor to have you on don't worry we're going to get some words out of you in a second but let's have a look at you in action first <laughs> Lawrence Akole The ropes that kept him up. It was only a matter of time. and everyone going mad. What's your heart doing? Uh, well, I mean, usually it happens at fight time, so I can't really think too much about it. I just... You zone out? Yeah, I zone out and just sort of just focus all of that energy on, like, the fight ahead, you know what I'm yeah. saying? How then has your life changed since winning the world title? Uh, I don't know what kind of show this is, but I feel... <laughs> yeah. Hey, this is the show you can say all you the tea. Listen, just Listen. let us know it's been it's been right. what's going on. It's been all right. I, felt, I, felt, I definitely felt a shift um, <laughs> as such, but, yeah, it's been good. It's, been, it's definitely been good. Um, and, you know, it's just about maintaining now. Where did you come from? What's your background? Uh, well, I mean, obviously, I grew up in Hackney, yeah, um, in East on. London. Um, my background's Nigerian, like both my parents. And now I'm a world champion boxer. But obviously, there's more to me than boxing, but yeah. it's, it's, it's good to have that sort of exclamation mark. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Your source spills over. So you mm. want a boxer? Okay, we give you boxer. Mm. You want an author? We've got author Ooh. in the studio. What's it like to have a book under your name? Yeah, that kind of stuff gives me a little bit... I don't know. Okay, so with boxing, I'm proud. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. And I don't want to sound... I don't know what the word... Like, but it's like... that. Like, that's my job and my, you know, my love. And I'm good at it, but I kind of expect, okay, I expect to win fights, I expect. Yeah. So when there's stuff like books, mm -hmm. it's like, and like actually my story being able to actually help inspire other people or actually yeah. the lessons that I've learned are able to help other people, that stuff gives me a, a more of a sense of like satisfaction. Boxing for me is like until I can't punch as hard or as fast or trick. So I'm going to give it everything I have in this period. But then mm. um, there's stuff that I want to do that goes on past that, do you know what I'm saying? So From back when you was working at McDonald's, have you ever felt the need or have you ever jumped over the counter <laughs> and given somebody a little one-two combo? Nah, I mean, I felt, okay, felt the need, yes, but acted on it, not so much. Do you know what I'm saying? There's one time, this one I think I can say, where um, obviously um, I worked in a place where it was like very um, busy and it was in a train station, so people are coming and these are trains that go out of out of London or mm -hmm. whatever else. So they're coming, they've got four minutes to their train and they want their... They're going I mean? quick. But then, OK, fair enough. You have four minutes. If it's a standard burger, they're here, mm -hmm. ready to go with a smile <laughs> off on your day. <laughs> if you now start asking for, like, you know what, no, no onions, no this, no that, and it's, it's a custom burger, you know, I have to tell the people at the back, they have to make it from scratch, you know? 
I've explained that to a customer. Hey, so hopefully you haven't got a train coming any time soon. He's like, oh, no, it's in five minutes. I said, it takes at least three and a half minutes for the burger to be made. Three and a half minutes, five, one and a half. He's doing the math. Carrying the one. Go! <laughs> yeah, OK, all right, well, you know, I'm not actually the one that's going to make it, but I'll... So I'll put it through. One. Yeah, so I put it through. No cheese, no onions, whatever. This one minute's gone past, the guy's... Sweating. Yeah, <laughs> looking over. I know he's there staring at me like this. Like, where's my... Do you know what I mean? So, obviously, he was being quite rude, so I just obviously put his chips in the fridge in the meantime. You know, you just... <laughs> just you get your chips, but they're not going to be what you... Do you know what I'm saying? His burger comes out, whatever. All right, so... One and a half minutes, you can, you can get this train. I know you can get this train, whatever. <laughs> so obviously I put these cold chips in the bag, along with the burger, whatever, scrunched up we'll the, the top. <laughs> Have a great day. <laughs> this guy's gone. So I'm carrying on. I see this guy sprinting back down to the to the to here. And he's like, this has got cheese in it. Or something like that. As in like the stuff he asked not to have in it, mm. it had in it. Now I'm thinking to myself, I'm fired. Okay, <laughs> yeah. so this guy, he's gonna, he's gonna do what needs to be done here. So I quickly manage our, da da da, whatever. So they've just got an, another batch coming, and then they take the cheese off, give it to him. He's gone again. Literally, no one. He comes running back. No. And he's like, "There's onions." Oh my god! <laughs> and then he just threw the whole thing. Right? It didn't. Thank goodness, I'm because I might not be. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? When, Miss me. Maybe the reaction. Maybe I don't. I don't oh. Maybe that's the king. True. It's I should be a boxer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but... All right. Well, obviously you was working in, in McDonald's all the time. Did you, did you did you have a guilty pleasure from McDonald's at the time? But there's a double Big Mac in, in McDonald's. Yeah. At the time. You quite quad it. Quad it. Oh my. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. No, no levels. <laughs> what was lockdown like for you? Because you're out here in the studio laying down music. So was that already on the cards or was lockdown just the no, excuse lockdown, to do it? I think lockdown was more the excuse to do it. I think it was a, it was a, obviously globally, Yeah. you know, not a great time, but it allowed me to sort of gain like a sort of focus and a sort of mindset change. And it's good. I think it was good for me because it was sort of like, it happened just before I won the world title. Mm. It allowed me to process it a little bit, maybe a little bit better, you know. Mm. Yeah. So for you in your career, how important is it for you to have music, not just in the background, but just flowing through all the things that you're doing? I think it's very, very I feel like sports and music are very much interconnected and yeah. just in life in general, mm. you know. Um, just obviously in terms of training, sometimes you're not, I'm not you want to be up for it, but you can't be, yeah. do you know what I mean? It's just, you've just been training, you're demotivated. So you put the right kind of playlist on, mm. it's going to get you through. You know, them hard rounds. You know, like, in the downtime, you know, I used to suffer with, um, with real road rage, you know. Um, I, I, I didn't love, expect that. You know what that. I love? I love yeah. the pause he took yeah. there as well. So, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like... <sighs> man, I just got to... It's still, it's still, it's still affecting yeah, yeah, yeah. me a little bit. I just need to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just zone in for a second. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, I used to suffer from road rage. <laughs> and uh, basically... Now, a little bit of jazz, Woo! you know, mm. just... And it makes me feel so, I don't know, I start thinking of business moves and stuff. Come on! Yeah, 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 yeah. Come just on! Like, yeah, like, I'm classy. <laughs> yeah. you know I'm saying? Like, I'm driving. So music, just all different types, it definitely, definitely plays a, a, a big factor in life, I think, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Listen, yeah. we've actually got a little clip of you yeah. doing your thing. Oh, so that's hilarious. Play the tune. <laughs> I got a new car with a new navy. Got a new yard with a new ID. Playboy, I got a few bunnies. And the rainy thing I like, they won't do for me. Heart's on cold, it refrigerates. But I'm a sucker for a pretty face. Still won't take her out on dinner dates. But I might show her to my real estate. Show her how the champ lives. Watch her get active. Take it to my mattress, acrobatics, handcuffs captive. Who would your dream collab be? Drake. Cool. Um, why see. not? You know, he's what you call getting to the top and deciding to stay there. Yeah. That kind of mindset mm. <laughs> is one that I want to get into. Yes. Okay, I've become world champion. I'm here. But so what people go, how do you maintain? Yes. Mm. Let's find out, Drake. Let's talk in this let's, let's, let's make it work. You're getting coming from. And then further than that, Whatever the mood is. Mm. Do I want energy in this training session? Drake's got me. Mm. Do I want to cry? Drake's got me. Come on. Do I just want to have a nice vibe with Amanda? Drake's got me. Come I really on. hope he's watching you, know. Hey, Drake's got me. Drake. <laughs> 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 as silly as it might sound, you know, the watches, the you know, the cars, the this, that, another. When I was younger, a lot of stuff that was um 
that people that had that mm-hmm. that looked like me came from like a different sort of they got it a different way. Do you mm. know what I mean? Maybe not the best way. Yeah. So it's good. Like obviously you know where I've got you know all of the stuff from is boxing business like the yeah. you know legitimate way. So it's to, it's to show you know you can still have all of those same things but just do it like in a different way. Yeah. Uh, is it enough to just be a boxer now? Is it true that you need to venture out into so many different industries or can you just be a boxer? I mean, me personally, I think I like the idea of venturing out. Do you know what I mean? Said I feel such like satisfaction in, in, in doing more. Yeah. So the book, when it's, you know what? Even if no one gets it, I yeah. can say, you know. I'm an awful. You did I'm an, it! I'm an awful. Yeah, do you yeah. Know what I mean, listen, I don't know what the zone's doing. Yeah. Acting. You know, that's something no, I want to do. That was my adventure. Listen, I love it. Um, listen, no, I love why, it. Listen, why, 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 why box me why in? Why box yourself why box in? Me in? Oh. You know what I'm saying? You know, oh. you know, you know people say, certain people say stay why in your lane. Box in the but it's like, boxer. you know? Yeah, well, don't box the box in. Box in the box. <laughs> Come <laughs> on. <laughs> Lawrence, in light of your music skills, we've devised a little game, especially okay. for you. Cool. All right? It's called Trash. Or tune. Okay. Right, so I'm going to read you some statements. Okay. And you've got to work out, are they lyrics from a song or are they someone trash talking? Yeah. Okay, number one, I am at the top of the food chain and he's looking to knock me off. That sounds like trash talk. Not trash, but trash talk. Mm-hmm. You're right, you're it. right. Lennox uh, Lewis. Come right. on. Nice, right. nice. Hey, one straight in the bag. In. All right. You had one chance and you flopped. Threatening me won't make you the heavyweight champ, rude boy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that sounds like a, a lyric from Stormzy. Great, Come on. great, great song. My great, mate. Great song. Okay, you're a pop tart, sweetheart. You soft in the middle. I eat you for breakfast. You could rap that though at the same time. Hey, you yeah, soft, yeah. Pop tart. You got a slap. So, okay, hold yeah, on. Like, hold on. Okay, hold on. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna one. go with lyrics then. You're gonna go with lyrics, yeah? Well done. A lyric okay. from Fifty Cent. You okay, got it. Okay, nice. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> um, I'm coming for you, man. My style is impetuous. Oh, wow. My defense is impregnable, mm. and I'm just ferocious. I want to eat you. Oh, okay, anyway, <laughs> let me just. But uh, yeah, obviously that's trash talk. Not trash. That's one of the most iconic Come on. speeches Come on. I've ever. I listen to that sometimes just because. There's a lot riding on this one, so okay. I really do hope you get it right. Okay. Uh-oh. I'm just feeling like the throne is for the taking. Watch me take it. I'm gonna go with lyric. Okay, lyric from. It's I'm not Drake gonna... himself. Okay. Great. Hey, there you go. <laughs> just knew. because he's watching, you know, yeah, just yeah, yeah, make sure you got that one right. Great. Yeah. All right. Here's one. I'm gonna hold whatever you say towards me against you. I can be the judge of what I'm gonna do to you. Wow. I mean, that's real good trash talk. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's. I heard that. I'm worried. Sorry. Spot on. That okay. is absolute A class trash talk from Tyson Fury. Yeah, that's great chat. <laughs> <laughs> Second to last one. Sooner or later, I'll take you up on your offer. And put you all in your place. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that's a trash, trash talk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well, it's wrong. Actually. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> yeah, it's wrong. It's Jay Z. It's Jay Z. No pleasure. Wrong. Incorrect. Incorrect. You gotta get, get one wrong. You're too yeah, good yeah, at this yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. You're too good at this cool, game. Cool, cool. Your last one. Mm-hmm. Uh, last one is he makes the elephant man look like Pamela Anderson. <laughs> it's gonna have to be trash. It's gonna have to be trash. Yeah. It's trash. Yes. Yeah. Come on. Well done, well done. You meant so much to me. Um, <laughs> you know what? It's not all about being undefeated and having all the. It's not. It's just about really just giving it your best and yes. having a good time. Did you have a good time? I did. Oh, I had a great time. Fab. Now, it was a big night of boxing last Friday on the Zone. Jason quickly took on Mr. Demetrius Andrade for the WBO middleweight title. Here's how it went down. The fight starts now! We earned this opportunity after beating Shane Mosley Jr. And look at that big right hand from Andre. It quickly is round early. Big right hook by Andre. That rock coming away. again. And it's down in round one. Here comes the pain. Andre with 30 seconds to work with. It's mad, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's actually a mad one. Like, you actually get banged, and yeah. then the guy comes up to you and he's like, but good fight, man. Yeah, well done. Fight. Well done, man. Yeah. I'm like, no, don't touch me. Mm. Don't touch me. Yeah, Lawrence, like, I don't know how that feels. Yeah, try something. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but I'm, I'm like, 
it's an awkward one though. I'm not gonna lie. You know when I first started knocking people out uh, as an amateur, mm. I like the first time I actually felt really sad for them because yeah. like um, like I was with like a girl, he, him and his girlfriend were there, and bang, and it was like one, and I knew his girlfriend was there. And I was thinking one of us is gonna go home with, like. Mm. Like a loser, yeah, yeah. yeah, and that's not me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, I'm not, and, I'm not, and the thing is, like the guy, me and him still chat a bit online or whatever. Great guy, or whatever. But I felt so sad after I dropped him, and he was saying, "Oh, they like, mm. what kind of a monster am I?" <laughs> but now I actually, I like when I've done it. Yes, done it. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird, like so weird. But what was your thoughts on that fight? That one, yeah, it was good. I think that like, he put in um a, like a good performance. He's he's in a weight class with a lot of good fighters, but he's not having the fights that maybe he wants. So it's good to put on performances like that and build like uh, a name. Um, obviously he's got a name, but you know, add to it. Mm -hmm. And it was, a, it was a, it showed a lot of um, power. Even like the setups for the shots were good as well. You could... Fair, but so who do you think his next matchup should be? Uh, any other champion. I mean, I think there's only one champion in his weight class, uh, <laughs> other champion, but I think he needs to have, you know, unifications because I think that's where he'll get the accolades that he deserves because, mm. you know, he's a world champion. We all know, love yeah. and respect that. But, you know, when you box other champions who come with their own fans and their own status, you, you put it all in the line and see what happens. So um, hopefully he gets, gets that. Now, another fight that we have to mention is Crawford versus yeah. Porter. Mm, Ooh, what mm, a mm, fight. Mm, did you catch mm. it? I did, yeah, yeah, I managed to watch it. And um, what do you think? What are you thinking about Crawford? Is he the best pound for pound? Uh, but, I mean, he's, he's one of the best technical fighters physically. He's such a like an all-round amazing fighter and what really got me is what Crawford said about him afterwards mm. that's when you got to take after I heard that I was like you know what you got to take this seriously because you can watch great fighters mm. but when another good or great fighter gives them accolades I take it so he was there after the fight saying it's different mm. and when you when I hear that yeah. that, that word resonates yeah. with me because it's like it's hard to quant it's like hard to explain but you feel it. Mm. And that's the signs of a good fight or a great fighter. Like, I'm desperate to see him fight against the Spencers and those, because as, as I said with um, Andrade, it's like, those are the times where people, we like, we'll, we'll all be here, say, debating, Spence, no, cool, cool. Yeah. yeah. And that's, for, you us, want that. for us, it's amazing. You enjoy the debate, but, but for the fighter, like, it's like, I want to show, I am, I am mm. the, so it gives you, it gives you more incentive in training and then an opportunity to really show on fight day, so that's when you get the best fight. So, yeah, um, yeah I'd, I'd love to see all that. Yeah, for real. Now, one fight that has got everyone licking their lips in anticipation is the clash of Tiafimo Lopez versus George Cambosis Jr. Yeah. That's the first time Tiafimo Lopez will be defending the four belts he took from Vasil Lomachenko in October last year. We caught up with the both of them earlier this week, and both of them are definitely ready to go. He brings a lot to the table. He brings, uh, he brings that he, he's determined, you know, he tries to bring his confidence, you know, so that right there, I will, I'll see what, what confidence level, where it's at when we, we are in that ring. But from what he sounds like, it sounds like he has pretty much, he has confidence. Um, but I look at it like this, you know, it's someone that comes forward, you know, looks for the fight, tries to set the tone, you know, um, throws up a cuts here and there. You know, and it's uh, someone that has sparred with Manny Pacquiao. You know, someone that has done numerous rounds with someone like that. So I feel like, you know, he has the, he has the experience, but we'll get to see what he could do with someone like me. I definitely predict this fight being a knockout. I don't see it going past one round. And I know a lot of people talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know a lot of fighters, they say it, they do it, or they try to do it, they never do it. But I truly believe the way everything has been, the way I've been in camp, the way I have been mentally, first round knockout. You guys haven't seen nothing yet. If you guys thought the Lomachenko fight was impressive, you guys are in for a treat. I've had an unbelievable camp. My, my, my camp has been in you know, an A++. You know, I've left no stone unturned um, with aspiring, with the game plans, you know, with everything. I really have left no stone unturned and you know, I just can't wait. I'm excited. I'm, 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 it's been a long time coming and I'm hitting harder. I just got so much more in my artillery. You know, faster, sharper. So, you know, this fight, I'm fully prepared for 12. But I see something. I see something in my head. I see them holes. And I believe that I will catch him as well. Whatever way it goes. And if I catch him nice and early or I take him in the mid-rounds or it goes for a, for a masterclass performance, 12 rounds, 
you know, I'm fully prepared for, for whatever way it goes. I can't wait to, to handle business and shock the world. Come on, if that is not trash talk to the finest. I liked what Tio said more than what um, Junior said. Do you know what I'm saying? I, think, I, I, I don't want to be pernickety and nitpick, but he said, like, uh, I'll catch him as well. Ah, to me, it sounds like you're planning on getting hit as well. Mm. Don't really like that, <laughs> do you know what I mean? So I, I, I'm going to be picking Tia Fimo in this one. Tia Fimo has got, like, um, obviously the world at his feet and also, you know, what you don't want is to be a one trip. I beat Lemachenko. He wants mm. to go on and show that he's a great fighter. Do you know what I mean? So I'm excited to see what he's able to do. What does Junior bring to this to this fight? Yeah, so he brings intensity as well, and he's he's he he wants to get to Tiafimo. Like obviously, the the thing is, is when people are known for be, being good punchers, like Tiafimo is, a lot of times people bottle it. But he seems like he's coming game, and at the end of the day. You know, anything can happen. So if he's, but only if you take the chances. Yeah. So if he's there taking the chances, anything can happen. Absolutely. Now, speaking of illustrious fighters, power, intensity, yeah. <laughs> there was somebody who's decided to take a little step up into <laughs> your uh, <laughs> yeah. into your division. We're talking about Saul, Mr. Canelo. Canelo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Nah, you mm. know what I mean? You want payday? I need it. <laughs> Obviously, when when that was announced, I saw you active on Twitter. Yeah, still. yeah. Inst- no, that one. Okay, listen. You gotta be though. Yeah, but it's like I'm not, even, I'm not even active in the way of calling them out because, like, I wouldn't I wouldn't fight me if I was him. Yeah, mm. not even just not even one of those reverse <laughs> psychology. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I wouldn't fight me if I was. <laughs> you scared? Yeah. Hey there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm what it more so is is that um that day yeah. Obviously, I'm trying my best to get unifications mm. in my own weight class, yeah? Mm. And um, I was having meet, like, discussions. Oh, Eddie, come on. Team, come on. Don't worry. The Maccabi fight, you'll probably get that one. It's as good as done. Mm. You know what? Unificate. Post it now. Post it's it. done. <laughs> yeah. So I'm there like, OK, cool. W- I'm there meant green to and gold him. coming. Yeah, I'm thinking <laughs> green and gold. Mm. It's in the green and gold. So I was waiting for the two belts. <laughs> Call me champ champ. But... <laughs> Um, then later on that day, the same day, I see this announcement. I said, "You say what? Can't be. Yeah, him? Him? Why not me? Yeah, yeah, yeah but um, so yeah, I don't even know if the, that fight will actually happen because it's, it's it's a huge ask because I think Canelo's amazing. Do you mm. know what I mean? He's one of my favorite fighters. As mm. I said, I'm a fan of boxing. Do you know what I mean? If he did want to fight, no longer fan. I'm going to get a body. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, not, yeah. Uh, but you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get him. But um." If he steps up to the weight class, it's good for the weight class because already, mm. in all honesty, we've seen Macabre's become more of a name overnight without yeah. throwing a punch. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And then it's cruiserweight champion. And then people are like, Lawrence is a cruiserweight champion. So keep feeding it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Well, and we'll see. But I, don't, I can't see him... St- even if he beats Macabre, I couldn't see him staying around saying... I want a Coley next. Because, mm. you know, that is, it's, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, this is a great fighter. Yeah. But, you know, like, there's weight classes and, so, yeah, you know, so I'm not going to waste but too much time pulling them out. Would you, would you like out. to fight him? Payday? Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? And even just like... Christmas, uh, you know? No, but the thing is also as well is that even though me as a boxer and as a, I understand that, that I'll be a lot taller, a lot stronger, and also as much as he's hard to hit, all it takes is one at this weight mm. from someone like myself as well to really yeah. just do damage. Corners crying, Mexico's crying. We don't need that. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Oh, no, he's not. said Mexico <laughs> will cry. Oh, I'm even trying. I'm not. I'm je- oh, I need to stop. Oh, yeah, it's time, but it's time now for my favorite part of the show. You mm-hmm. have been such a joy, and I'm excited for this bit. You know, yeah. we are back with the headband challenge. Oh gosh, that's man. right. So, well, we're going to be testing your hand-to-eye coordination, seeing mm-hmm. how many times. You can hit it in 30 seconds. The person who's at the top of the leaderboards is Sivo the Madman. Okay. He's got 40 points. Come on. Yeah. Let's do it. You ready? Yeah. In three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, eight, much. nine, ten, uh. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, Come 16, on. 17, uh. 18, no, 19, calm down. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, Come 24, on. 26, Halfway 27, there. Okay, 28, nine. 29, 30. You got this. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Nope. Yeah. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Wait, no, 41, no, yeah. Wait, no, yeah, now I'm on top of the leaderboard. Now calm down. 43, 44, 44. 
five. No. no. Oh, no. <laughs> He's so <laughs> dark. Oh, hey. 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 Come on. Come on. Um, it's just everyday life. Oh, right. You know, I'm just, yeah, yeah I've, I've grown into it. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. it. That's it. The well champ done. himself, the champ is here. There's no way the champ could have come to this show, been from the corner, mm -hmm. and uh, not taken the no, crown. You're right, you're right. Thank you so much, Lawrence, for coming. You've Thank been you. so, so good, man. Well, that's all we have time for. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you find us on the Joe YouTube channel or wherever you get your podcast. You've been watching From the Corner, brought to you by Joe and the Zone. You've been listening to From the Corner, brought to you by Joe and the Zone.